Hi, this is Austin with Brush for Hire with another mini wargaming technique video. This time we're converting a bloodletter to the ways of excess. So today we are going to work on a special project. We're going to be taking one of the bloodletters of corn. These are some of the standard pieces on the sprue here, as you can see. And we're going to be converting it to follow one of the other chaos gods. This first one, we're going to be focusing on Slanesh, the god of excess. So we've got the body, which is just the two legs and the body piece put together, the arm with the weapon, the arm without the weapon, and we've already got the parts of the head also clipped out and cleaned. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we've gotta come up with our game plan here. First thing that we're gonna do is work on the spine. And normally these spines are kind of pointy, like fins on a fish or something else uh, to that effect. We're gonna go ahead and glue it in place and then we're gonna augment it a little bit to make it look a little different. Just glue that down. And once that dries, we're gonna go ahead and start snipping off the ends of these to make them look a little bit more like just bony protrusions from the back. Just take that down first and then we will start reshaping those. So just blunt those off to make sort of a sawtooth pattern. Start rounding down some of those corners a little bit too. We want it to look kind of like skin stretched over a bony spine, but just trying to get something a little bit different here. So uh, we're gonna round out some of these edges with a sandpaper stick. So I'm working to round these out a little bit, take some of the edge off. There we go. And one final scrape to try and get rid of any of the lines that were left by the sandpaper. Up next we're going to glue together the two parts of the head, which are the horns and face, and the other piece is the tongue and the back side of the head. Once that's dry, we're actually going to clip off the horns. And we're going to clip off the majority of the back side of the head. We're going to leave it slightly elongated from what would be normal for, you know, a normal sized human head. But we're going to shave it down significantly. I'm going to start shaving off the corners here to round out the back side of the head. There we are. And I'll work back and forth between using the razor to shave off large chunks and using the sandpaper to smooth it all out. We've gone ahead and glued it down to the body just so we've got something a little bit more significant to grab onto. And we're going to start scraping. This will even out some of the lines that are left. Just trying to get all of the detail off of the face now with the exception of the mouth. So we want to leave the teeth and the mouth but we're trying to remove all of the other features just so that it's got this almost featureless alien like head with the gaping mouth and the really long probing tongue. We're just gonna move on to the arms now. So we've, we do have some symbols that we need to get rid of. Now the symbol on the end of the handle here is the symbol for the god Korn uh, who we are trying to move away from here and get um, something different, namely Slanesh, and I'm going to actually cut this blade into three parts here. We're going to make something of a whip blade. Just snipping these down into thirds, and we're going to round off the edges just to make them look like it would be easier for, for them to actually be part of sort of a chain, like think of a bike chain where you've got the links that are a centerpiece and then the links that go on the outside of those to pair them together. Up next we're going to go ahead and start linking these pieces of the sword together with a piece of plastic card. Now the plastic card that I have here is actually a little bit too wide so we're just going to have to trim that down a little and we'll just shave that down with the razor real quick. And it's okay if it's not completely even. 
we can go back in with the sandpaper and trim it up. There we go. And once again, we'll go back and round out those edges. I'm going to cut this piece in half, and this will be the right and left side on either side of one of these joints here. Get that set in place. We're going to have it curving back just a little bit. It tends to look a little bit better and more dynamic if you have it leaning back like you are getting ready to wind up for the swing rather than having it moving forward like you're already past the center of gravity. Put a little bit in between those two tines there and we'll slip the next section of sword in between. Just trying to keep it lined up with the, the middle of the sword a little bit so that it looks plausible that this could actually function in the way that we're, we're hoping for it to look. piece on there. These are really finicky. We're actually going to mix it up a little bit here and we're going to put the end of the sword on and then put the final piece on the other side. There we go. And we'll put the last little bit down. We'll use our clippers like tweezers there. Just squeeze that down, make sure everything's set. Now we'll move on to some rivets. Now these are Resin Forge brand rivets. I have been using them quite a bit here recently and I found them to be a fantastic help for this type of thing. I used to cut my own rivets but I do like the look of these domed rivets. Once we've cut some off the sprue we're going to just touch the blade of our razor to it. Sort of dip it into a little bit of super glue just to get enough on there on the surface and then we're going to touch it down where we want it to be and the glue should take it from there. There we are. We got one in place and we've got several more to do. Eight in total. There we are. We're all finished up with the rivets and actually all finished up with the sword. Now it's time to glue the sword down onto the body. Still just using a little bit of super glue. You can obviously use uh, plastic cement for any of those joins if you like that's what you prefer and we don't have anything that we're going to be doing to the other arm we want it to match so this is a relatively straightforward and simple conversion we've got the three aspects that we changed the weapon is now a whip sword we changed the face to be a bald and featureless face with the exception of the mouth and the spine is rounded This has been a technique video on converting a blood letter to the ways of excess. Thank you for watching. Please tune in for future installments, and as always, happy wargaming.